All right. Hello, dear seekers of truth and wisdom. I'm Tiffany Satchu, your 1111 coach, and welcome to the second part of the very last video in this series on celestial, angelic, biblical, and tarot magic. If you made it this far and watched all of these videos in this season, you are ready to begin practicing magic. And you're definitely prepared to begin your spiritual journey and loving relationships with the archangels. If you have any questions, I'm only a comment away. Be sure to view my previous videos on practicing safety, practicing magic safely, um, titled um, Why Your Magic is Backfiring on You, okay? Make sure you watch that video. And um, also watch a definition of magic and how to successfully practice, okay? You want to watch that as well. Um, I'm going to make sure that I put the links in the description of this video so, so that it'll be easier for you to find. Um, along with the link to the playlist with all of the videos in this week's series, all right? So I hope that you found all the info I shared so far helpful. And yes, she's going to start the video off with a joke, if you were wondering. Okay, <laughs> so now, why did the astrologer bring a ladder to the party? Because they heard, they heard the stars were up for a good time. Get it? They heard the stars were up for a good time. Get it? I just, I cracked myself up. I, just, I am so freaking funny, man. They need to give me my own comedy show. All right. So you can use that one if you like. All right. Don't worry about it. You can use that one. I know some of y'all want to use that one. All right. Now today, we're going to embark on a journey beyond the confines of earthly understanding. All right delving into the celestial realms where archangels um, Cassiel and Uriel reign supreme. Okay? Their divine energies intertwined with the cosmic forces of Saturn. Alright? So let us first turn our gaze towards archangels Cassiel once again. All right, like we did in the previous video. As I mentioned before, he is the angel of solitude and tears, whose presence resonates deeply with Saturn's energy. When you begin your journey, I recommend working with him first. Uriel's energy weighs more on... Um, Weighs more towards like a uh, Capricorn, okay? But it's still Saturn's energy. And learning about both of them, it's not gonna hurt you, okay? As long as you're respectful. Stay respectful because these energies are, like I said, you're dealing with Saturn energy, so you're dealing with angels that operate like Saturn, okay? Um. Cassiel is the silent guardian of the soul, all right? He guides us through periods of introspection and healing, all right? So when we find ourselves lost in the labyrinth of life's challenges, Cassiel is the angel who comes and whispers in um, words of comfort and solace in your ear, reminding you that even in your darkest moments, you're loved, you are protected, and you're not alone. But Cassiel is not the only celestial being whose essence is intertwined with Saturn, as I mentioned earlier. Archangel Uriel 
the angel of wisdom and enlightenment shares the throne with him. Uriel's radiant light illuminates the path before us, offering clarity and insight in times of confusion and doubt. It is through Uriel's guidance that we gain a deeper understanding of the cosmic mysteries, unlocking the secrets of the universe with each step that we take on our spiritual journey. Now let us explore the profound connection between these two archangels, Saturn and the world card in the tarot deck. The world card represents the ending of a journey or a complicated cycle, a moment of glory where we emerge victoriously okay when we overcome trials and, and tribulations that stood in our way all right the world card we see four elemental symbols earth air fire and water unified in perfect harmony symbolizing the balance and wholeness that comes from embracing embracing the cosmic energies of Saturn and all the archangels, okay? And what better day to honor these divine connections than Saturday? In many spiritual traditions, Saturday is associated with rest and reflection. It is a day to recharge our batteries, connect with the divine, and seek guidance from celestial from the celestial beings who watch over us. All right. So, my cosmic siblings, as we bask in the gentle glow of Saturn's light, let us remember the wisdom of Archangel Cassiel and Uriel, whose presence guides us through the darkest of nights and leads us towards the dawn of a new day. As we journey onward, may we always keep the lessons of the world, of the world card close to our hearts, knowing that with faith, perseverance, and the guidance of the divine, we can conquer any obstacle that stands in our way. Galatians 6, 9 says, Let us not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. This reflects the idea of perseverance and reaping the rewards of our efforts akin to the lessons of Saturn and the energy of the world card. Thank you for joining me on my cosmic exploration this week. Be, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the new content I'm prepared um, to introduce over the next seven days. I already started. Um... I already started. We're we're um we're to, we're we're going over the seven hermetic laws. By the time you see this video, there should be at least two videos up. One that says um, Alex's story and oh, did my phone? I didn't know that it had time. Trying to keep my my eyes on the road. Um, one that's called um. Alex, Alex's story and the other one is called Leo's story. All right. And they're both on. They're both on um, the seven hermetic laws. 
all right believe me you don't want to miss this content i specifically designed it to be so plain and easy to understand that even a fifth grader can comprehend it so if you think that you're smarter than a fifth grader you're ready to hear the seven hermetic laws like never before i promise until we meet again, may the blessings of Saturn and the archangels light your path and fill your hearts with peace. Blessed be.